What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to be doing another Beamer Code video. Right now when I lock and unlock my car, it does not make any noise at all. It just flashes the indicator lights, but it doesn't make any noise. So I've done some research and I found out that you actually can get the car to make some noise when you lock and unlock it. So that's what today's video is going to be. We're gonna code that feature in. So unfortunately you guys, I do not have an alarm system equipped in this car. And in order to get the beeping when you lock and unlock, you do need to have an alarm system. But either way you guys, I'm gonna show you how to code the feature in, in case you wanna do it on your own car. It is nice to have the option in case you wanna code this into your car. Maybe you're in like a big parking garage and you can't find it. You can hit the unlock button and you can hear it kind of leads you to the location of the car. So just to show you guys right now, obviously I have the keys, I'm in the garage, here's the car. Does not make any noise other than the super loud mirrors folding and unfolding, but it doesn't make any notification beeps or anything. So let's code that in. All right, so most of you already know the drill here, but if you don't, I'm gonna bring you up to speed really quick. The way that we are connecting our iPhone to our ECU is with this OBD2 connector. It's called an iCar VGate Pro. It's a Bluetooth adapter that allows us to connect the phone to the ECU via OBD2 port. If you guys are unfamiliar with Beamer Code or any of this process, please just check out this video. It'll bring you up to speed. If you guys have already watched that video and you're pretty comfortable with coding your car, we're just gonna jump right into it. So let's go ahead and connect the iCar VGate Pro adapter to our OBD2 port. Next step is go ahead and open up your Beamer Code app. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit connect. We're gonna select our chassis. I'm a BMW 3 Series F30. We'll let that load up. So there's gonna be a couple of things we need to do here. Um, a couple of ways I'm gonna show you this. Unfortunately, I cannot display the actual sounds for you because it turns out my car does not have an alarm system equipped. You must have an alarm system equipped in your car in order to use this function. So while I do not have an alarm system in the car and I cannot give you examples of the actual sounds, I can still actually show you how to code it in. You guys will just have to try it out for yourself, see if it works. If it works, obviously that means you have the alarm system. If it doesn't, it means you do not. All right, so there are a few steps in order to do this. The first one, we're gonna go ahead and hop into head unit. And right at the top, you guys, you're gonna see checkbox acoustical lock confirmation. You're gonna click on that, make sure it is active. And then you're gonna head back and make sure before you leave this category that you hit code in the top right. You have to hit code. It's gonna restart, reset, and then it's going to be coded in just for that head unit part. Now we're gonna go back into the main page and we're gonna head down to roof function center slash alarm system. Let this one load up. All right, so here you're gonna see a few different options. Uh, on the top, you're gonna to see acoustical lock, unlock confirmation. We're gonna go on that, make sure it's active. And then the sound volume, you can change it to however loud you want it. Right now I have it on high, it doesn't really matter because I can't do it anyways. But um, you can change the volume of it. If it's not loud enough for you, maybe go high. Uh, I heard that from factory, they're, they're relatively quiet. So that was why my instincts told me to go with high right off the bat. And then we'll go back and looking at the sound frequency. So the frequency, how, how high you want that frequency to sound, you can change that. And then uh, the sound duration, do you want it longer? Do you want it shorter? You can change that. And then lastly, this is pretty cool. You can change the alarm sound from Europe, Great Britain, and USA. I'll try to find some sound clips online of these different sounds, and I'll put them in this video if I do find them. So once you guys have decided everything that you want, you're gonna stay in this category, and again, hit code in the top right. It's gonna be two different coding processes. Let it reset, let it do its thing. And then once you're done with that, you can hop back out of here and you're done with this part of it. You can go ahead and disconnect. We finished that part of the coding tutorial. And now you guys wanna make sure that you have everything selected correctly in your iDrive. You're gonna go into settings, you're gonna go into door locks, and then down here at the bottom, you're gonna see acoustical SIG lock and unlock. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that that is in fact selected. And then from there, you guys should be all set. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. It's kind of a bummer that I can't code this feature into my car, but Honestly, it's a 2013 and there's a lot of things that I can't code into this car that you guys might be able to, but at least I can still show you how to code them if you do have the capabilities of coding these features in. For me personally, it's not the end of the world. I guess beeping when you're locking and unlocking isn't something that I really worry about. Would be a cool feature to have, but if I had an alarm system, I'd be able to do it. Anyways, guys, if you're interested in supporting me, the channel, or any of these videos, go ahead and check my merch line at www.thickf30.com. I just dropped a bunch of different hats. We have hoodies, long sleeves, decals. We even have a section where you can create your own customized Instagram decal. As you can see, here are all of my decals, and I made all of these, so 
Really, I can do any customized decals if you are interested. Go ahead and check that out. If you guys want any of that stuff, make sure you pick it up in the web store. I really appreciate the support. But even if you don't want to buy anything, just watch the videos, man. I keep making these videos as often as possible and I just appreciate you guys coming to the channel, subscribing, commenting down below, liking the videos. But thank you so much, you guys, for the support. I appreciate it so much. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing. My name is John, and I make all F30 BMW content. But effectively, you guys, that'll end today's video. Please do like this video, comment down below, and hit that bell notification, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.